This video is incredible, and I think it's a sign of what's to come. There's been a lot of car robberies across the country, and this guy's not planking. He's laying as still as he can because there's somebody with a gun pointed at him who is stopping this guy from stealing his car. And let's watch this as it went down. This guy is in Dallas, Texas. That's the dateline on this story. He's in a 7-Eleven. He's trying to get some snacks or something. He comes out and he sees that somebody's trying to steal his car. Uh, of course, there was some problems. We'll learn about those in a second. But he pulled a gun on him. He told him to stay still. You're not stealing my car. I'm going to put my gun down when they pull up. I'm going to put it down. Yeah, man, he thought he was going to jump in my car and pull out. And it's a stick. Can you even drive a stick? He said, can you even drive an effing stick? And that's an excellent question because I could drive a stick. Can you drive a stick? I don't know if this guy can drive a stick shift. He might have jumped in the wrong car and tried to speed off, not even knowing how to drive the vehicle. Here's where the cop arrives right now. That's why his hands are going back. Another officer told Man, him to step over here. On the, scene. the officers are on the scene now. Okay, go ahead and take my time, okay? All right. Hey, my man, here go your phone. Is it okay if I uh, give my guy his phone back? Yes, sir. All right. Go ahead and take my time, okay? All right. And he gets arrested for attempting to steal the car. You can see he doesn't look like he's very happy with how things went. Here's the actual original video is posted by somebody named flight dog underscore a videographer from Dallas. And he wasn't having this. He said, you are not going to steal my car. Uh, shaking my damn head. He learned today says the guy who originally filmed this. And you can hear him talking back and forth with some of the officers after he stopped this from happening. Big police presence at the 7-Eleven. Sure, they might be used to it at this point with all the car thefts that are going on across the country. But you're going to see reactions more like this now, I think. More people standing up and saying, you're not stealing my car. Um, basically, I went in the store to get a drink. I was at the register uh, about to pay for my drink. And I seen him walk around my car and hop in the driver's side. So as soon as he did that, I came out the store, drew my gun, told him to get out and get on the ground. And then I had... Uh, well, I didn't have him. I just yelled for somebody to call the police, and he called. Perfect. There you go. Not happening on his watch. This is happening in Chicago, in Atlanta, in all of these places across the country. More and more cars are being stolen, and more and more people are fed up with it, and they're taking things into their own hands, and they're not just going to let somebody steal their vehicle. That's what this guy did. Do you think he did the right thing in this situation? If so, let me know. If you like this video, share it, please. Hit that share button. If you're new around here at facebook.com slash the news junkie, hit the follow button for videos just like this every single day. Whatever's happening in the world sent right to you over on youtube.com slash the news junkie. Hit subscribe, and we'll talk to you again real soon.